late May, and when we're out evaluating our pollinator projects to see what's flowering during bloom period one, it is always the most challenging bloom period to come up with. But today I want to tell you about a great species that needs to be in every project in the Midwest and Great Plains, foxglove beard's tongue. I'm a big fan of foxglove beard's tongue because when it comes to pollinator habitat, this hits all the highlights I'm looking for. It's a bloom period one plant, hard to come by. It's fairly inexpensive to include in a seed mixture. It shows up quickly. It provides great pollinator value. This foxglove beard's tongue stand is just being bombed by bumblebees today. But for me, perhaps the most important thing is that in this 13-year-old planting, foxglove beard's tongue is still abundant in providing great pollinator value. There are 249 different penstemon species found throughout the U.S. And if foxglove beard's tongue isn't home in your area, there's likely to be several options in the penstemon family that you can consider. They all tend to flower early in the year, and some great options in this genus with similar benefits include shell leaf penstemon. This is an especially important plant to bumblebees early in the year. Slender beard's tongue. Found in the northern area of the Midwest and Great Plains, this is a key early season pollinator option. White beard's tongue a pollinator species that's found in the Great Plains that provides important native bee benefits. And there's 245 other penstemon options out there. Find and use the ones that are home in your area. Foxglove Beard's Tongue, giving us early, inexpensive, and long-lasting pollinator value. Now that's great habitat.